for who could crouch blindly while a legion of croaking, baying entities. Unknown source flopped noisily past, scarcely more than a hundred yards away. I thought I was prepared for the worst. So, right now, I am in the most haunted hotel in all of Las Vegas, and tonight I'm going to be sleeping here. Wish me luck. <laughs> so this hotel is called Hotel Apache, and it's a small hotel located inside of Binion's Casino on the Fremont Street Experience. Before I get into the haunted stuff, I just want to give a little bit of background. So Hotel Apache, it originally opened up in 1932. Years later, it was bought by Benny Binion, who transformed the hotel and casino. And this place became a very popular place for Hollywood stars to stay, such as Clark Gable, Humphrey Bogart, Lucille Ball. And also, this place was known as the first place to have an electric elevator. It was the first place to have a fully air-conditioned hotel lobby and fully carpeted casino, so it has a lot of firsts in Vegas. It's a very famous place. And what I think is really cool is Binion's was the original home of the World Series of Poker, and it's coined as being the place that made poker famous. But now let's get into the stuff you came for, the haunted stuff. <laughs> okay. Let's get some light in here. There we go. So. Hotel Apache was recently renovated, and now it's actually marketed as the haunted place in Vegas. It's marketed as like a fun thing. This hotel was featured on many news stations where they kind of explored and showed the, the weird, eerie stuff that has gone on here. People who have worked in this hotel have seen shadows, they've heard noises. Some of the spirits are believed to be former employees, too loyal to leave. It's been featured on go like Ghost Hunter TV shows and stuff like that. A lot of my subscribers have wanted me to stay here, so I thought it would make for a good video, obviously. And I'll tell you right now, I am one of those people that is a huge skeptic of any kind of supernatural stuff. So I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to lie and say, oh, I didn't hear anything if I did. But uh, I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. I am staying the night. Greta's going to be joining me and my wife, so uh, <laughs> thank God. Because even though I don't believe in this stuff, I'm still a little freaked out, to be honest with you. It's a little creepy. Um, yeah. <laughs> so as far as the rooms go here, they're all pretty much the same. They're all standard rooms, essentially. So let me show you the room. This is what you're going to get if you book here. So the room's not bad. Hardwood floors. You have a view of the Grand, downtown Grand, and uh, the Fremont Hotel and Casino. Pretty cool. There is one weird thing though. Uh, outside of the window, it looks like there's like a balcony or an old fire escape, and you can't get out there. Like I tried. Like look, you can't open the window to get out there. But it is a little interesting. Yeah, it looks really old. <laughs> The elevator. <laughs> Are you ready to see the room? I'm ready to see the room. It looks nice, actually. So it's about 9 p.m. We do have some time to kill before going to sleep. So we're going to go downstairs and have some fun. But before we do that, I wanted to tell you about my strategy for tonight, which is to put my GoPro right here and record us throughout the night. I have a suction cup mount for the GoPro, so it's going to attach perfectly on the windowsill here. And I'll film us through the night and I'll review the footage tomorrow. Maybe we'll find something. Most likely not, but I'm going to check it. And that's the plan. But for now, let's go downstairs. Let's show you some cool stuff downstairs. Ready? Let's go. Okay, let's go. 
So the saloon is on the second floor and has a really great view overlooking the Fremont Street experience. What's also cool is that it's right next to one of the stages on the experience. So you can get a drink and you have a great view of some live performances because there's always live performances on Fremont. I didn't realize this bar was a rotating bar as well. This and Top of the World at the Strat are the two rotating bars slash restaurants that I know of in Vegas. So this is really cool to see. On the Fremont Street Experience, when you're on it, it's so loud, you can barely talk. But in here, you can hear the performance fine, but you can still hear people and talk normally. It's not super loud, that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, this place is great. So in this section of the casino, there are slots, but these slots are arcade games slash slots. This one is called Asteroids. Remember that computer game Asteroids? But it's Asteroids mixed in with like a slot. Look at this. <laughs> We're not exactly sure how the money and betting aspect of this game works, but pretty freaking cool, honestly. So we just got back from getting a drink at the bar, we gambled a little bit, we even went to one of the fish spots here. There's two fish spots here, which is super random. Oh, okay, it's pretty cool. Oh my God, this is really weird. What does it feel like? <laughs> it kind of tickles a little bit. It's about midnight now, we're back at the room. Oh, also one more thing. So the most haunted room here apparently is called room number 400 and it's a penthouse here. Apparently that's where all the stars used to stay. And we even asked the front desk and security and they refused to tell us where it was. But we searched for about 10, 15 minutes and we found it. And uh, we knocked on the door and of course no one answered, it was locked. So we're back at the room now. Time to go to sleep. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, is now can I do it? Is it recording? Yeah. It is recording, okay. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna sleep now. Uh, mm -hmm. We have this plugged into a charging pack, so it should be recording all night long. Wish us luck. All right, see you guys in the morning. made it through the night. It actually wasn't bad at all. I did wake up a few times through the night and normally I don't do that. I didn't hear anything, didn't feel anything, didn't uh, necessarily even feel scared at all. And then we went right back to sleep. So for me, it was good. I'll ask Greta in a second what she thought. How was your sleep? My sleep was pretty good, actually. I woke up many times during the night, but lately it's been happening to me even at home. So I don't, I don't know. It's not pretty good. But yeah, overall, Binion's Casino and this hotel 
are pretty solid. It's not the nicest in the world, obviously, but the rates here are cheap. There's no resort fee as well, which is pretty cool about them. They're obviously connected to the Fremont Street experience, which is awesome. Pretty nice casino. Got a lot of cool slots. They have a bunch of table games where a lot of minimums are 10. So $10 minimums are always pretty good uh, to have some fun, play some blackjack and not lose a ton of money, you know? Unfortunately, their steakhouse isn't open and the pool is closed uh, because it's winter now. They also have a fitness center, which we popped in and checked out. And um, the cafe. I actually had lunch at the cafe yesterday as well, which was pretty nice. It's right in the middle of the casino. Oh, and I can't forget the bar upstairs, the whiskey uh, bar. Really cool, the rotating one, that one's awesome. Really happy with my stay. Binion's pretty solid place. Uh, happy I did this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video. Definitely helps me out a lot, and that's it. Bye-bye.